The New York City Police Department began erecting metal fencing in Lower Manhattan on Monday as a potential criminal indictment for Donald Trump appears imminent. Law enforcement officials were stepping up security around the Manhattan courthouse where the charges would be filed after Trump over the weekend called on his supporters to protest. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg is probing alleged hush money payments made by Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, to an adult film star who claimed to have had a sexual affair with the former president, claims Trump denies. No current or former president in U.S. history has ever been criminally charged, and Trump is in the midst of yet another campaign for the White House. All signs point to his imminent indictment by a grand jury. Donya Perry is a former assistant U.S. attorney for New York's Southern District and told Reuters what she expects may happen next. Former President Trump is not going to be dragged in front of a scrum of reporters. There's not going to be a perp walk. He won't be put in handcuffs or shackles. He will self-surrender. But he will have to go through all of the normal procedures that any defendant who is charged in federal criminal court or state criminal court has to go through, including having a mugshot taken, having to be processed through the system, and having to be arraigned in front of a judge and um, having to enter a plea. In this case, it will surely be a not guilty plea. But if the indictment seems imminent, the case against Trump is far from certain. Cohen admitted to making the payment to adult performer Stormy Daniels in the waning days of the 2016 presidential campaign and was reimbursed by Trump after he took office, a reimbursement that was falsely billed as, quote, legal fees. Falsifying business records is a misdemeanor, but legal experts say it can be elevated to a felony if it was part of covering up another crime. In this case, prosecutors may allege Trump was trying to hide an illegal campaign contribution. James Sample is a law professor at Hofstra University. What makes it especially uh, and potentially criminal is that when he paid her in this way, if in fact that's what happened, he then wrote off that expense as legal expenses, when in fact that would be um, essentially a contribution, um, a significant contribution, um, and not a legal expense by any stretch of the imagination. Federal prosecutors charged Cohen with election law crimes related to the payment. He pleaded guilty, served prison time, and has emerged as a likely key witness in Bragg's investigation. Trump has called the probe a politically motivated witch hunt and claimed without evidence that Democratic President Joe Biden may be directing it. The Manhattan probe is far from the only investigation dogging the Republican candidate. A Georgia prosecutor is looking into Trump's efforts to undermine the 2020 election results in that state. And the U.S. Justice Department has named a special counsel to investigate Trump's illegal retention of classified documents, as well as his involvement in alleged efforts to subvert the 2020 presidential election. If Bragg were to charge the former president, a trial could be more than a year away, which means it could be scheduled to start as the 2024 election is in full swing, or even after the defendant has taken office.